Órale, cholo, trucker, los tres chingones, boxing, shots, all the chingones y chingonas. Did you see it? Did you guys see it? Man, it was a great fight. Did you guys see it? I saw it, man. I thought it was a badass fight, Holmes. I really did. I was highly entertained. As a matter of fact, forget being on the edge of my seat, dog. I was standing up the entire time. I was just like, damn, man, what a great, great fight. It had everything in it, man. I mean, a lot of action, a lot of back and forth, the knockdown, the stoppage. Should it have been stopped? A little bit of a controversy of a stoppage, right? And, of course, I'm talking about the two gladiators that went at it over the weekend. Who am I talking about? You guys already know. I'm talking about Jordan Gill versus Michael Conlon. Man, homie, what a fight. What a fight. That is two weeks in a row. There's just great action across the pond. Here we are, a fight in Belfast, and damn it, this fight did not disappoint. Had me just like, damn, man, this is what I'm talking about. This is the type of action that I want to see. There was no booing. Nobody booed in this fight. It ends in the seventh round with a little bit of a controversial stoppage. We'll get to that in just a second. But let me go ahead and say this, man. Um, Mick Conlon, okay, gets dropped. I believe it was in the second round. Maybe it was the first round. But nonetheless, he gets hurt. He gets dropped. He gets back up. Now, what do you think he did? What do you think he did after that? Remember, he was hurt and he was dropped. Did he get on his bike? Did he start running? Did he start clinching? Did he start holding? No, he did none of those things. Instead, he fought. He fought. And he fought himself back into the fight, man, because he actually has some damn good rounds after him being dropped and hurt. But he did not start clinching. He did not start holding. He didn't get on his bicycle. He didn't start running. He didn't do any of that stuff, man. He just fought. Letting Jordan Gill know, hey, homie, yeah, you may have had me hurt. But this is the hurt business. And I'm here to give it right back to you. And I'll tell you guys this, man. Um. Jordan Gill definitely was hurting Mick Conlon more than Conlon was hurting Jordan Gill. Don't get me wrong. Jordan Gill did have moments where he looked like he was a little bit rocked, but not the way Mick Conlon was. Jordan Gill was actually causing more damage. Even though, even though, well, I guess I would say the power. This is where the power comes into play, right? The power and uh, the chin, right? Because Mick Conlon did have some good rounds. He did have some good moments. He did land some really good clean shots. And while they did bother Jordan Gill, it was clear to see that Mick Conlon was a heck of a lot more bothered by Jordan Gill's punches and power. But nonetheless, man, it was a really good fight all the way through to the seventh round. Now, what happened in the seventh round? Mick Conlon is in the corner. He gets tagged. I thought he got tagged up pretty good, but not enough for the referee to stop it. He was still kind of aware of what was going on. I'm not going to completely complain about the stoppage because I could kind of see it like, uh, yeah, he was maybe a little bit wobbly. It was kind of hard to tell because he was in the corner, but his head did snap back. And he did take a little bit of punishment. He did say, take some pretty good punishment in this fight, but he was giving that punishment right back as well. So how do I feel about the stoppage? Oh, man, I uh, personally, I would have probably let it go a little bit. However, however, Mick Conlon was standing in the corner. So it's not like, you know, he had all the room to just drop, right? It could have been Jordan Gill's punches keeping him up. 
if Mick Conlon's lights went out. So I can understand. I can understand the stoppage. Um, I didn't really like it, but I can understand it. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with anybody if they believe that the stoppage was good and clean. That's fine. I. I don't. That's fine. That's fine. I see it both sides. But uh, look, shout outs to Jordan Gill for his uh, upset win. But I want to give just a round of applause to both of these gladiators, both of these warriors. Nobody booed. They gave a great performance. No silliness, none of that stuff. Great, great job to both of these gladiators, both of these warriors, man. Great fight. Loved every single round. Loved every single second of it. Badass fight, man. Shout-outs to both of them. Cholo Truckers, Tres Chingones Boxing. I'll catch you guys on next round.